Cupcakes. So today I'm going to be doing um, an advice for sixth graders video. Yes, this is technically a cupcake chit chat, but I decided that it kind of somewhat went hand in hand. I don't know, but uh, it just made sense to me. So um, <laughs> yeah, and what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So um, you don't like just have like this advice isn't just for sixth graders. You can use it anytime. I don't care. So, um, yeah, keep watching. So the first thing that I would have told myself before I start, be, I would have told myself is no one cares. No one is thinking about you. No one in, no one is, okay? Like, let's say you have to give some PowerPoint presentation or whatever to the class and you're nervous because you don't like talking in front of people and crowds and whatever. Like, no one's thinking about that. Everyone else is thinking about their own problems and drama and all that other stuff. Like, everyone else is thinking about their own little world. Like, everyone else is worried about what's happening in their own little world. So, no one is thinking about what's going on with you. Chances are no one even pays attention. Okay? Like, it just doesn't matter and... No one is thinking about it, okay? I promise you that. Like, no one ever thinks, like, no one ever thinks about, like, if they laugh at you for some weird reason, no one, they don't think about it. They don't remember it, okay? They will never remember. They're not going to look back and be like, like, when they're 30 and be like, oh, jeez, like, that was really funny when I laughed at that girl's power presentation, PowerPoint presentation. Like, no one does that in, Okay, and how, and, uh, just, no one does that. That has never happened and never will happen. Okay, I promise you, no one is thinking about it. And it's middle, and it's middle school. Like, who wants, well, like, it's middle school. It doesn't matter. Okay, I promise you. And also, like, duh, just forgot what I was going to say. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. When someone is being mean to you, they're not thinking, okay? So, think before you act, okay? Don't just do things in the scheme of the moment. Got it? Okay. And also, being homo being racist and homophobic does not make you cool, never has made you cool, and it never, ever, 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 it never, ever will make you cool. Like, making some fun, making fun of someone's weight. That does not make you cool. Making some, making fun of someone's race. That does not make you cool. Making, being homophobic. Does not make you cool. Like, I mean, I don't care if you're homophobic or something like that. Like, or if you're homophobic, like, okay, fine. Go live in La La Land where there's no cupcakes and there's no Starbucks. It's just, they just sell poison and coffee mugs. Like, you can go live in that world. Well, yeah. Okay. But in reality, where there's plenty of cupcakes and Starbucks, like, it just doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I mean, like, it doesn't make you cool at all. It never will and it never has. It may get you through middle school, maybe a little bit through high school, but after that, what are you going to do? Like, honestly, it never has made you cool. It never will make you cool. And... Like, seriously, and if you, and I mean, like, I would so much rather be cool for being nice and kind and polite and stuff like that than be cool for being homophobic or racist or mean or just plain mean. Like, ugh, it just does not make you cool and never has made you cool and never will, okay? Like, just stop. Okay, and who even cares about being cool? Just, you know, you will have a ton more fun if you worry, if you just be yourself, you know, like that, that big scary, those big two scary words that everyone seems to be afraid of nowadays. Like, duh, it will just be, make you, it will just be, life will just be a whole lot more fun if you do that, okay? I pinky promise. Okay. Pinky, 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 pinky promise. What's wrong with me? Like, and also, you do not need a boyfriend or a girlfriend, okay, or whatever you're into. You do not need that. You're in sixth grade, okay? 
just stop, okay? Like, think about it. Would you rather, okay, in sixth grade, you, whether you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever you're into, like, do you sit at the same lunch table in an awkward silence? That is what you do. Does that sound like fun? Like, nah, it does not. Or would you rather go hang out with your friends and fangirl over Justin Bieber or something like that? What would, like, what seems more fun to you? And I don't even like Justin Bieber, okay? <laughs> like, honestly, it just, you do not need a boyfriend in, middle, in sixth grade because, like, it doesn't even count because that's all you do, literally, sit at the same lunch table in an awkward silence. It lasts two weeks and then you're... And then you're sad for like a total of 10 minutes and then bam, you have another crush on, you have a crush on another guy. Like that is literally how every single middle, middle school really, and junior high relationship has gone and that's all, and that's, gah, that's like, what's the word? That's all that's ever gone on. Like, that's it. You know, you sit so much table in awkward silence for two weeks, you break up, you're sad for 10 minutes and bam, you have another crush on another on another guy and you and the cycle repeats all throughout middle school and junior high it just does it, it's true well like they might get progressively longer like maybe a month or three weeks once you get like in seventh and eighth grade but when you're but like you, this but that's just how the cycle goes so it's much table in awkward silence you break up sad for 10 minutes have another, and you have another crush, you have another crush on another guy. And that's all that's ever happened. It's just the circle of life. The circle of life. Okay, so you do not need a boyfriend. Okay, or a girlfriend, or whatever you're into. Okay? So, oh, and also, try, try, try to do good in school. I know everyone says it, but you need to because do you want to be the stupid? No, you do not want to be stupid, okay? Because if you're stupid, you don't get the cupcake, okay? Would you, do you want a cupcake? If you get all A's and B's this year, I will give you a cupcake. But you have to get, but you have to be good. You have to use the education, okay? So, yeah, try, try, try in school, and life will just be easy. Because, I mean, like, okay, who, you know what? Who cares if people call you a nerd? What's wrong with nerds? nothing I'm a nerd and you like me probably maybe somewhat probably not so yeah um you probably don't like me so try in school and like really like if someone calls you a nerd chances are that person is getting D's and F's so what seems better to you being called a nerd maybe like a couple times but yet getting all A's and B's and being on the honor roll and getting like awards or whatever or do you want to be or do you want to be calling people nerds to make yourself feel better and get these and F's which seems better to you because I would rather be called a nerd so yeah and you know what like I who why would you be offended if someone calls you a nerd because that because uh, the definition of nerd means smart so it's actually technically a compliment. What? So, yeah, that's just my little video. video. So, um, yay! Okay, so subscribe, come memory to bakery, give a cupcake, get sprinkles, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, kick me, not literally, and comment on this video, like this video, favorite this video, and share, sharing is caring, and peace!